Hi, I'm Brian Davis, Construction Solutions Manager here at Tormont Cat. Today we're going to talk about one of the features that's integrated into all of our non-GC excavators from 313 to 395, and that's CAT payload. Payload allows the operator to determine the amount of payload they want to put into a truck so as to not overload it, but make sure you don't underload it as well. So you can avoid those costly moves where you're just burning fuel and not moving enough material or moving too much material and you could get fined. So, it's very easy to use. The operator can input what they'd like to put into the truck. They just run the excavator like they normally would. The system does all of the work for you. Very easy to learn. Let's hop up here in the cab and we'll show you how it works. So now I'm going to show you how to utilize Caterpillar's payload system on the next-gen excavators. There's two ways you can get into the payload. Again, you can go through the main options menu where you can select that and select payload here. Or if you want to use a shortcut over here, we have a way scale. You can press that and that'll take you into the payload system as well. Once you're in there, you want to set your target payload. So you press here and set in whatever it is, the value you want. So for this exercise, we'll just do 10 tons, nice and easy. Hit OK, and then go back to the home screen. Now we're in our payload screen. So to activate our 10 ton payload, we have to use, we have to activate the system. So we use the back button on the right hand joystick, press it once, and now we have payload activated. It shows you that we have a 10 ton target. It shows our truck over here, which we have nothing in at this moment, and our bucket over here, which we have nothing in. So when we start to load material, the key to payload is you run the excavator just like you normally would if payload was on or off. It doesn't matter. You just want to run the excavator just like normal. As you excavate and put material into the bucket, it will register over here. As you swing to the truck, you will get a tone and you will see your bucket turn green and you'll see what payload is in that bucket. As soon as you've reached your, your targeted payload, you can store that load by pressing the bottom button on the joystick. What that will do then is zero the truck back out to zero, put your target back up to 10 tons. It will add one truck number over here because you've now loaded one truck and it will zero your bucket counts. And then you'll start the whole process again. And you just keep going like that all day long, loading up trucks using payload. Okay, so we've activated payload. So right now we have a target of 10 tons. We have nothing in our bucket. We have nothing in our truck. We're gonna go get a bucket load of material. put 5.53 tons in our bucket. We're gonna go over now, we're gonna dump that in the truck. Now our truck has 0.5 tons. Our target is now 9.5 tons left to fill and then we go back for another bucket load. Another 0.56 tons, we're gonna to dump that into the truck. Now we have 1.1 tons in the truck, and that's how payload works. Caterpillar excavators are equipped with a whole suite of onboard technologies that come standard from the factory. These technologies are geared towards making operators much more productive and putting a lot more money in your pocket. If you have any more questions about any of these technologies, please contact your local Tormont rep. Thank you. Thank you.